I'm Cassidy Pickering, a sophomore outfitter, and I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm studying sports business. My name is Ella Parker. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I'm a sophomore, I'm a utility, and I'm studying psychology. Thank you guys so much for coming out today to the Oklahoma Proton Center. We're really excited to show you guys the facility here. Um, we consider this one of the state-of-the-art cancer centers in the country. Can you tell me what a proton is? It's like protons, neutrons, and electrons, yes. right? That's One's solid. Is it positively yeah, charged? Yeah, P, proton, yeah. positive. Oh, yeah. That's, That's all I got. Yeah. That's all I got. Think like a proton and stay positive. Exactly. This is one of the things that we say here. So have you guys ever heard of proton therapy before? I've never heard of Today is the first time. Today okay, is the first so you're going to learn a lot. So we're going to walk you through what it looks like for a patient that comes to our facility to go through treatment and explain what proton therapy is and why it works and what cancers we treat and why it's beneficial for certain types of cancers. Um, but Breast Cancer Awareness Month is October, mm -hmm. so um, part of what we're going to talk about today is breast cancer treatment. So we treat a lot of breast cancer patients here. Breast cancer runs through my grandma and my other family history. Through a lot on my mom's side, it's just been a lot of um, different types of cancers, but it's kind of like been generational, so like everybody on her side has dealt with it a lot. Um, my grandpa actually had cancer and unfortunately lost his battle, but um, just really on my mom's side is, is where we're affected yeah. most. What we hope that you guys take away from here today is just what it looks like for a patient day to day when they have to go through that treatment. And we want to create awareness for that battle that patients are going through. Um, and let patients know about the resources that exist and the technology like we have here at the Proton Center that's available to treat breast cancer patients. Does it, is it dependent on each case, like how often is treatment for? So generally it's Monday through Friday. So they're stuck with us for a good month, month and a half. So, but that's where that's what brings the joy of the job, really, more than anything else, is getting to build a relationship with them. You know, always kind of sad, but yet happy whenever they're done, because you know, you get that relationship. Now they're gone, but uh, happy for them to be done. So. So, like we said. Most radiation facilities are traditional radiation facilities. There aren't a whole lot of proton facilities, but there are some cases to where I think protons can make a significant difference. And so this is the proton plan, and the proton plan would be like treated on this machine, and one beam kind of comes in this way, and one beam comes in this way, gets them to the range you want them to, and then they stop. And so that's really why for, I think, some cases, protons have a really really significant advantage for patient outcomes. Uh, but currently in the U.S., 0.1% of women get treated with protons. And I'm pretty sure that's too low. Just the advancement in technology that um, you guys provided and um, just meeting everybody, meeting the staff was really cool and just seeing like what they, they try their best to make each patient comfortable was what's, what I really took away and what I really appreciated. You're not trying to get patients in and out of here, like you actually care about them. You have resources for them to like get through this and get through it with comfort. Thank you for opening our eyes to something we hadn't seen before and I think it's really important that um, everybody opens their eyes and sees this um, because if, if it doesn't help them, it helps someone around them. Um, but it's really important to just get that out there and see for yourselves like what people go through.